Welcome to my course, Game Development Basics, Week 3, Lesson 5, Placing Asset and Level. Our scene is starting to come together, and now we need to start considering how the gameplay will be formed. I've created some hills around my house, but we want to start building out our scene and making it look a little bit more realistic. We also need to create some sort of barrier that will prevent the player from just roaming around our landscape. In my models folder, I took all of those house assets and put them in their separate folder just to keep things tidy. I'm going to import some more assets now. And I created a few assets that are free for you to use. And I just want to have a disclaimer, I'm not the greatest at 3D modeling, but these should be good for prototyping and you're more than welcome to use them in your project. I've included these as a Creative Commons license, which means you could even use them in the future if you wanted to for other projects. And one of the assets that I included is this fence that has a base that looks like it's made of concrete and then these metal bars. And you can see that it's in two separate pieces. One thing I can do is take the bars and drag them onto the wall. And then now the wall, the base of the wall, is the parent to the upper part so if I move the base, the upper part will move with it. Another way to go about this would be to create a blueprint of the fence. So we can right click, create an actor blueprint and call this BP fence. And then in our BP fence, we're just gonna need two static meshes, one for the upper part and one for the lower part. And now we have an actor that we can place in the scene that has both parts included. Let's compile. I'm going to delete all of these and then we'll just drag one of our actors into the level. Now I don't know that there's really a performance benefit to doing it this way but it does help keep everything tidy because you know that the two pieces won't be moving independently as you create your level. I want to create an area where the player can walk around that's blocked out by these fences. And you don't have to use the assets that I provided. I want you to make this project your own. So if you have another asset you would like to use to create this barrier instead, or if you wanted to create one yourself, feel free to do that. But before we move on, I wanna make sure that we've created the barrier all the way around our house. Cause in the next few lessons, we're gonna start developing gameplay. And remember, when you have something selected, you can hold Alt and drag one of these arrows and it will make a duplicate. And one final trick that I want to show when I'm creating my levels, I like to do it in one of the orthographic modes. I find it's a little bit easier to place assets. You can access these over here where it says perspective, and there are a few of them. And notice that there's also hotkeys. For instance, top is Alt J. And then I like to change the view from wireframe to unlit. And now when we're placing these fences, aligning them is just a little bit easier. You can use Alt G to go back to the regular view and get a look at how it's looking so far. So at this time, just take a few minutes and create a barrier. All right, so I have a fence going all the way around my house now that will keep my player in the level. I also created another blueprint called BP Gate. And in here, there are for now just three static meshes. We have this arch and then I have gate left and gate right. And notice with these gates, the rotation point is at the hinge so that if I rotate it, it looks like the way a gate would actually open. This is gonna be relevant in future lessons. So if yours aren't doing that, then let me know in the comments and I can try to help you get it working. And our level's coming together now, but it's looking a little bit boring. The next thing I want to do is add in some trees and maybe a little bit of brush just to make it so that these hills don't just look so plain and boring. Now, Megascans is a great place to find free environmental assets. In the Epic Store, all of their products are free as long as you keep the assets within Unreal Engine. I definitely recommend browsing through these to see if you can find a setting that you like. I also found this vendor on the Epic Marketplace called the Harrington Lab, and they have a lot of free assets that you can use as well, different environments. Browse around, see what you can find, and let's just take some time to build out our level a little bit more and create a more interesting environment. 